and don't share. People say like our nurse practitioner, they know our uh, family members' names and, yeah. and she, you know, she'll laugh with me, cry with me, sometimes pray with me. Yeah. Um, so you, she really knows how to um, so make like her patients feel, feel like family. Yeah. And welcome to Hometown Heroes. We have a new guest on the show today, Brittany Gully with Welcome Health. Thank you. We are so excited you're here. I am too. I'm we really excited. We have been talking back and forth about all the amazing things that Welcome Health does. And we just, we had to find a space to fit her in in our crazy busy schedule with this show. So she was so glad to be here today. Before we introduce you to Brittany, we're going to take a quick commercial break to pay some bills. Therapods Float Spa where floating takes you to new heights of relaxation. Slip into a sensory deprivation pod filled with dense Epsom salts. Float effortlessly, relieve body aches, distress your mind and emerge energized. Float away at Therapods Float Spa, 3761 North Mall Avenue, Suite 5, or call 479-790-2448. Welcome back to Hometown Heroes. So we have Brittany Gully from Welcome Health here today. And before we get started, I wanted to list some of our sponsors. And we have a new one this week, so I was so excited. Um, shout out to TNS Land Management, On Point Nutrition, Pathfinder, Therapods, Airedale Nutrition, Jersey Max, and Eddie's Towing is new this week. Um, I love that we are getting new sponsors weekly because I want to continue to be able to do this show and to keep the good, uh, the good news coming around in Fayetteville. Yes. And in the River Valley, because that's the, that's the cool part about this. It's all good. Yes. You know, when you turn on the news and it's 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 sad and it's depressing and it just makes me I don't know, it takes me down a couple notches in my mood. And so I love getting to do this because it really is just good things. So, um, so Brittany, tell us about Welcome Health. Yeah. So Welcome Health is a charitable clinic that provides free, let me say that again, free. free I love that. Medical free. and dental care for low income families. Okay. And, um, so we are a nonprofit. And, um, so like I said, we've been around for 38 years, but the really wow. sad thing is, is that a lot of people don't know about us. So I didn't thank even you. hear about y'all until I went to that meeting and I was like, oh my gosh, we have to get this work out. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So 38 years. That's a long time. <laughs> yes. It really kind of started um, as a small dream that mm -hmm. has now grown and um, just flourished and we're excited about it. But there's a, a local icon here in Fayetteville, Miss Jessie Bryant, mm -hmm. and she started the clinic with um, some other kind of concerned citizens in the community that knew some of her neighbors needed health care, but mm -hmm. couldn't afford it. So uh, she just kind of sought out a doctor who would volunteer their time. It was wow. one day a week. It was in the basement of a very small church. And um, the word got out and people came like yes. from anywhere and everywhere. So it wasn't just her neighborhood. Um, there were patients from Van Buren. There were patients from Harrison. They would literally drive over, stand in line to be seen that night. So location doesn't matter. Correct. Right. That's right. amazing. Because mm -hmm. yeah. usually you have to live in a certain zip code or a certain state or anything. So I love that. Yes. Yes. So in the basement. And that's still the truth today. Mm -hmm. um, there's no geographical limit to who we serve as long as they can get to our clinic in Fayetteville. We're happy to provide free services. Awesome. But because of the demand, um, and the need. They have moved the clinic three times now. Wow. And we are so proud of our current space. It's gorgeous. Is it's it the one you sent me the pictures art. of? Yes. Okay. So I posted that onto our Facebook page. It's really awesome. Good. Thank you. Um, yeah. So we've been in our new space since 2013, but it doesn't look like it's over 10 years old. Okay. And um, we also changed our name. So originally when Mrs. Bryant started the clinic, it was called the Northwest Arkansas Free Health Center. Okay. So obviously that tells you what we do, but um, there is kind of a negative stigma with the word free. 
you know, and media's done that so to true. us. So true, so true. You know, so people think like, oh, this is a back alley clinic or, you know, they have broken down equipment or unlicensed right. providers. And yeah. that is absolutely not true. So in 2015, we changed our name to Welcome Health. Okay. Um, just to signify that our patients deserve and are welcome yes. to quality health care. I love that. Yeah, thanks. And so when you say, you know, anyone is welcome, Mm -hmm. you said you have a financial criteria they do have to meet, right? Yes, and I'm going to give that to you because hopefully you can maybe post that along with this. Absolutely, absolutely. But basically, they cannot make more than 200% above federal poverty level. So that's kind of foreign to folks. Um, It Federal poverty level is based on their um, household size. Okay. So, you know, one person will have a different criteria than a family of four. Gotcha. Um, But I like to kind of use the family of four as a reference because that's a lot of who we see. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a single mom with three kids or it's mom and dad with two kids. And um, so a family of four cannot make more than $60,000 to qualify for our services. Okay. So you and I know people that fit in that oh my category. Gosh, yes. And that's why I always like for people to see our income guidelines mm-hmm. because it's eye opening. Like yes. people fit into this category. Um, yes, Northwest Arkansas is gorgeous. I mean, yes, it's prosperous. People are moving here every day, but right? Not, it's the place to everyone. live. Yeah. But there's a very nice, affluent neighborhood. And then two streets over, there is a neighborhood of people living in poverty. Yeah. As a matter of fact, there are 69,000 people in Northwest Arkansas living in poverty and or wow. without health insurance. Which is so sad. Yes, yes. So but you know when you, you know, I've definitely lived at the poverty level before. I'm not much above it. But it's when you think about priorities, mm-hmm. I mean, food. And shelter. shelter. Absolutely. Those are the top two. And a lot of times health care and dental care yes. do go not necessarily unnoticed, but untreated. Yes. Because you just can't fit that into your day. So I love that. Yeah. Um, when you were talking about the locations that you serve. So I live in Mountainburg mm-hmm. and literally the whole town um, is pretty much poverty level. Mm-hmm. Like we are, our kiddos are very blessed at the school and we get free lunches, uh, free breakfast. Now uh, during COVID there were free meals that were given out. And a lot of our churches have food pantries and stuff, Sure, but it is heartbreaking mm-hmm. when you think of literally a whole town. And so I can't wait to show all yes. of my Mountain Bird families about this because yes. it's not that far. No, they can and make the drive. Free. Yes. Free. Yes. Love that word. <laughs> um, so tell us some, some things that you do there yeah. that... Yeah. Everyone so wants to know our about. medical services include, um, of course, general medicine. Mm-hmm. We have a nurse practitioner and an RN on staff. Okay. And so they um, they see patients Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays. And um, so, like I said, that's all just your general medicine, mm-hmm. uh, preventive care, primary care. Um, we have a lot of patients who um, are diabetic or pre-diabetic mm-hmm. or have cholesterol issues, heart issues, just kind of some of those chronic things that they need to be seen for and yeah. have regular medication checks and things like that. Um, but we are privileged, we are blessed to have uh, an amazing army of professional volunteers that That's come in amazing. and help us. So everyone is a volunteer. That's well, there. yeah, the additional then from our staff is volunteer. So, wow. um, that's kind of our specialty doctor. So mm-hmm. we have gynecology, we have internal medicine, oh, wow. we have uh, physical therapy, uh, we provide um, nutrition and diabetes education classes. And then we started last year doing immigration exams for um, our folks, some of the refugees and Mm -hmm. um, those that are trying to seek residency here in our country. And um, that has just blossomed. I mean, we have a huge request for that. Um, So we do our immigration exams on Friday. Mm -hmm. And we have so far seen patients from 30 different countries. Wow. In Fayetteville. Yes. Yes. That is absolutely crazy. But I love that it's something that is really just growing constantly. Mm-hmm. And like mm-hmm. you said, when people find out about you, how can you say no to this? Like, <laughs> and the fact that you were, you know, you were saying we want everyone to know it's not some 
run down right random free cl- like we are we're licensed we're professional right. in the in the space y'all she sent me pictures and it's absolutely beautiful um so that's that's exciting yeah do yeah. you guys um think that you're going to have to be expanding more soon or does the place you're is the place you're at right now pretty good to hold a lot of yeah people? i mean we uh we're fortunate we still have room in our current facility to grow okay. and we do have of course some future plans but the biggest thing right now is we have capacity to take on more patients okay. so we need patients we want people to know about us we want to be a resource yeah. for them and um we want to help them with their medical issues you know sadly a lot of low income folks think their only option is the emergency room mm-hmm. or some people, you know, just push their health and push it, push it further in the, on the back Until burner so and it bad. escalates. It's so bad. And they go to the emergency room. Yeah. So the sad thing about the emergency room is they're susceptible to getting other illnesses mm-hmm. because there's all kinds of people in the waiting room yes, waiting for hours. The wait and hours. is a long mm-hmm. time. And, um, The sad thing is there's a huge bill, you know, that they will not be able to pay. So I really want to educate the community and let them know we're here, we're available, um, you know, be a little proactive and come to us and let us help you. Yes. Before it goes so far. And so not only medical, they offer dental also. And you said you guys typically see a lot of dental patients that know you're there, but you weren't seeing a whole lot of the medical side of things. Is that right? Yeah. What happens is, um, you know, if you get a toothache, it's killing you, it's right? Terrible. And so your yes. only thought is, I've got to get this tooth out. You mm-hmm. know, so they uh, Google's been huge for us. So they Google, you know, dental care, and they find us. Um, we do dental extractions, but um, we don't always want to pull your tooth. So right. if it can be saved, we want to save it. Yeah. So like sometimes a person thinks like I'm in so much pain, I've just got to get this tooth out, mm-hmm. and they come in, and our dentist will say we can save this tooth. Yeah. So let's get you an antibiotic for this infection, mm-hmm. and then we'll have you back in and do a cleaning and or a filling, and let you keep your own teeth. Yeah. Um, but the really exciting thing is, is we are starting dentures. Wow. And so I'm a little careful in saying that because um, there will be a limit to how much we can do right. but um we have raised the money we have the equipment that's so exciting um, we have the waiting list started so knock on wood in may we should be um fitting our first set of dentures so i know so many people who at a very young age mm-hmm. have lost pretty much all of their teeth mm-hmm. Um, sometimes it's uh, related to a medical condition they have um sometimes it's other things but it's so sad because you never, I always tell my kids, I'm like, brush your teeth, take care of them. You don't get another set, you know, like that. They're not just going to grow back and be fine. In some cases you do have to have dentures, but they are so expensive. Expensive. Yes. And a lot of people can't afford them. So how awesome is that? That that's another thing that y'all are allowed to offer. Yes. I love that. Yeah. Thanks. So when we were talking about, um, your clinic, so if listeners, if you go to places that offer free, services a lot of times it's like one day a month or twice a year so I was talking to her they are there Monday through Friday Mm -hmm. right yes they have certain days they do certain things but they are open for you to make an appointment at any time so it's not just a certain day or a certain time um you can go and make these appointments so we talked about the income guidelines um and but that's really the only guideline right right because location doesn't matter Nothing else does. Um, And so how would you tell our listeners if they are uh, within those guidelines Mm -hmm. and they're wanting to come get some medical or dental help, Mm -hmm. how would they do that? Let me just say one thing. Um, There's a slight stipulation in the age that we serve. So we are not Medicare credentialed on our medical side. So basically people over 65 get Medicare and okay. so they cannot be seen in our clinic. Okay, good. On know. the medical side, but okay. we can still help on, um, the, dental side. on the dental side. And okay. that's, we see a lot of that and we anticipate some of our denture patients will be elderly folks who right. need us. But um, yeah, so if they want to make an appointment and everything is by appointment, um, they call our front office and the ladies up front are amazing and they can help them determine what they need to, okay. to prove their income and, and verify that they qualify. Mm-hmm. And um, 
really, we are not that backed up in medical. I mean, like literally one, two days max, probably. We're oh, wow. getting and you now, in. I was going to ask you that also, yeah. because yeah. sometimes with free things, it's like, okay, I can see you in six months. Yeah. So that's not the case for Welcome Health. Right. How cool. Yes. Now, on in, in our dental clinic, we do our dental extraction clinics on Thursday evenings only. Okay. So um, that's a little different process. If you want to get in for dental, you need to call the first Wednesday of the month. Okay. So they call the first Wednesday of the month, first thing, right when we open at 830. Okay. And then they get on the Thursday schedules for that month. Okay. So they could be the very next night or, you know, it may be the third Thursday of the, right. the month, whichever. Okay. But um, so that's just kind of as um, as they come in, as the calls come in, they get scheduled. Okay. Um, and it, so it'll be the same situation for our denture patients because mm-hmm. they will need to be seen first in our extraction clinic. Right. Obviously, we're going to have to pull their teeth, yeah. let all that healing take place, and then um, get them fitted for their dentures. Okay. Well, it sounds like you guys have an amazing organization going on Thank over you. there. And I'm so excited that I met you and that you were able to tell us about that. Because I was talking to Adam and I was like, I've never heard of this. I know. And he's like, me neither. And we know so many people that it can benefit. Yeah. So I'm super glad to have you on to spread the word about it. Yeah. Um, So if you need free medical or dental care, you need to hit up Welcome Health Mm -hmm. and we will be, we'll post all of your information on our socials and it'll be at the bottom of the screen when this airs. Okay. And um, we want to get you hooked up with them because I don't know if you may not know Brittany, but so far she's been absolutely amazing (laughs) and I can't. Um, imagine that anyone else on the staff is not you guys have been so welcoming and friendly yeah and I love that because I think a lot of times too with medical and dental um there's a kind of a stigma if Mm -hmm. you're on like Medicaid or if you maybe can't make a payment today or whatever right I hate that I know like everyone we're all just trying to survive so I love that you guys are just super happy and welcoming yes hence the name yes but um anything else you want to tell I want to say like on that same um note our staff and our volunteers have mm-hmm. been with us for so long so the continuity of care that they will get at our clinic is really important too like yeah. um our providers get to know our patients they know their medical history Just like a regular and doctor people say like our nurse practitioner they know our uh family members names and, yeah. and she, you know she'll laugh with me cry with me sometimes pray with me yeah um so you know, she really knows how to um so make like her patients feel, feel like family yeah, yeah, I love that. And um, one thing we love and we pride ourselves in is that we have pre-med and pre-dental students that volunteer for us. So we have a great partnership with the U of A on that. That's amazing. And um, so they get real world, you know, experience before they go off to med school or dental school. And they're volunteering their time. They're volunteering. The and that's, that's great for young yeah. folks to get in the habit of that. Um, but then the best thing is, is we've had a great track record of those who go to school mm-hmm. and then come back to Northwest Arkansas and want to volunteer for us again as a professional. Aww. So we know like we've made a good impression. Yes. Um, they feel good about giving back and then they continue to come and help us out because literally we couldn't do it with our vol- without right. our volunteers. Right. And that's how you keep it for free, you know, keep right. it free. Right. So if you want to volunteer, is that something that they can reach out to about also? Yes. Um, yeah. We it, You have to be a professional, of course. Um, so you have to be licensed, um, a doctor or specialty doctor, yeah. dentist, oral surgeon, dental hygienist, okay. um, and nurse. We're happy to have additional volunteers, too. And I would be remiss if I didn't say that we are nonprofit. So, yes. of course, we have to raise money and whatever money we raise yeah. helps us provide these services that we do for free. So um, if there's anything the listeners can help us with, okay. um, there's several things like think of who, you know, That could be a patient. Mm -hmm. That's first and foremost. And then um, if you have time and you um, are a licensed professional and you want to give back to the community, please give us a call. Or if you know someone who fits that category. Yes, yes. Um, 
help us on social media. We have all the channels um, on Facebook and Instagram and X and um, just follow us and engage with us because that's that ripple effect, right? Yes, of absolutely. Additional people hearing about us and, and coming to us. And then if you find yourself with a little extra money and you're looking for something to donate to. Send it their way. We would love it. Um, and we do have a special event. That's another way that we raise money. Okay. So that is in August. It's scheduled this year for August the 9th. Okay. It's called A Toast to Health. And um, I mentioned our founder, Jesse mm-hmm. Bryant. So we give a Jesse Bryant Service First Award every year. And that's generally a top donor or a volunteer that mm-hmm. has really stood out and, and helped us. Yeah. Um, and this year we are actually honoring one of our longtime donors, uh, the Willard and Pat Walker Charitable Foundation. I've seen their name. Yes. On so many they things. are great in the community. Yeah. They give to so many organizations. Um, we're all successful because of them. And it's time that they get the things that. that they need. Yeah. So that will be at the U of A Alumni House. There can be information on our website about tickets. And but we'll make sure and post that also. Okay. So once it gets nearer, yeah. definitely reach out to us and we would be happy to post that. The okay, good. are amazing. Yeah. But we're looking for sponsors for that event. Okay. And um, we do have a silent auction. So if there's somebody with a small business that wants to, you know, promote your business and help us out, you know, okay. donate an item to us. And that's a, a lot of what we do on Hometown Heroes is we do try to um, have a fundraiser or have some type of something to help out the organizations that have been on here um, because everyone does such amazing things. And yeah. usually it is nonprofit, so yeah. they re- they rely on the community to help fund that. Yes. Um. So if there's any way that you want to help at all, reach out to me. Um. Reach out to Brittany. I will definitely send whoever your way. Yeah. I'm not a licensed medical professional <laughs> at all, uh, but I can definitely help you share the word. Yeah. Because I want this clinic to keep going and to change lives like sure. they're already doing every day. Yeah. Um, if I can touch just a minute on yeah. maybe some of the patients or the people that we serve, because you may be listening and think like this doesn't pertain to me. Um, we see patients from all walks of life. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, a typical patient is maybe someone who's working a minimum wage job, an mm-hmm. hourly minimum wage job. And just like you mentioned before, their number one priority is a roof over their head and food on their table. Yeah. So, um, we had a patient recently, he is a male in his 20s, and he actually works two food service jobs. Um, and even with tips, he does not make enough money um, yeah. and doesn't, of course, have the health benefits from working those jobs. Yeah. And um, so he qualified for our services and he was so grateful to find yeah, us. Because literally that can be life changing. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we we have some veteran patients. Um, so we are right by the VA hospital. So oh. Cool. convenient, but, um, they get amazing medical care at the VA, but they don't have dental care. So they will come to us for dental services. I didn't know the VA didn't do dental. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh-huh. cool. So now I can recommend all of my VA yes. people to you. Yes. All right. Um, but you know, there's people who are in between jobs or mm-hmm. have maybe, let their insurance lapse and then they're in the process of refiling and, ins- mm-hmm. you know, filling out their information for insurance. So there's just kind of that gap of time Care. when they need service. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we want to help those folks. Um, I mentioned the immigration exams mm-hmm. and um, this story absolutely breaks my heart. But um, there were two unaccompanied minors uh, females and 17 years old, um, that entered our country, uh, for whatever reason or whatever circumstance Mm -hmm. and, um, immediately went into, um, department of Homeland security, um, custody. Mm -hmm. And so from there they got put in a local shelter here, Mm -hmm. but ultimately they came here for a reason. They want to be, you know, somewhere where they can seek residency and, and have a great life. And medical benefits. Um, yes. So we are in the process of helping them uh, with their um, immigration exam that they need for residency. So we're That's excited awesome. about that. Um, but there's also like U of A students. So um, we had a, a, a young lady recently and she just aged out of her Arkansas Medicaid. Mm-hmm. Um, but she's in college and, you know, seeking her degree. But 
um, isn't working and, and yeah. like I said, lost her insurance. So she came to us for services. I didn't even think about college students yeah. because, oh my gosh. Well, there is yeah. the great um, health center on campus. So U of mm-hmm. A does have um, great care for their students, but mm-hmm. it doesn't always cover their spouses or right. um, sometimes there are those grad students that are here from other countries. And so their family may come and visit them. And if they're coming that far, you know, they're going to stay a month at a time. Right. And so while they're here, if they get sick or, you know, have a cold or flu or like ache it or pain. It doesn't have to be like a, it can be a short-term thing. Absolutely. It can be a one-time thing, a yeah. five-time thing. Yeah. I like that too. Yeah. So you're just opening a window of so many opportunities for so many people. Yes. So if you're listening. Yes. Send some people to Welcome Health. Yes. Um, But really, I just, I think it's amazing what y'all are doing. And I hope that we can get this video out, get y'all some more patience, and just spread the word about all the awesomeness that y'all are bringing to the community because y'all deserve it. Thank you. And I love this. Yes. So when we, when you do your um, uh, silent auction and you do your fundraisers, we will definitely shout that out. Okay. Um, And thank you just, thanks for being here today. Thank you. you. Thanks for, and it's rainy and we're talking. (laughs) about like is our hair gonna be crazy because of the humidity and I'm like she looks beautiful (laughs) she showed up she's an amazing person so we're just so thankful to have you on our show thank you and to all of you who have sponsored hometown heroes thank you so much definitely and um really just if you can do anything good in the community whether it's reaching out to people like Welcome Health to be like, hey, I can volunteer a little bit or I know someone who can, like, please do it. I mean, that we tell everyone that all the time. We're like, someone can do something Absolutely. to help someone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't, it doesn't have to be a long term commitment. It doesn't yeah. have to be hours out of your day. Literally, the smallest things can make a difference. And that's what we like to focus on here at the bridge. So thank you guys for listening yes. and we'll see you again next week. Thank you. Uh-huh.